Hello and welcome to ConsoleTrading.com's Grand MA2 Advanced video on fixture cloning. My name is Alex Hughes and today we're going to be going through the process of cloning fixtures in Grand MA2. Today we're using MA version 3.2.3, uh, but this feature has been around for a fairly large amount of time. So no, no need to worry if you're not running 3.2 currently. So I'll run you through what we have currently. I've got one sequence, which is referencing some selective color presets that we can see here, uh, and some selective positions, obviously. We also have an effect that runs and that is selective over our, uh, our origin group or our original group of fixtures, uh, and isn't included on our secondary group. So I'll run you through the show. Currently, we've got a bit of solo light, two lights fade out, to pick up, we've got a bit of beam action. Essentially, I've created just a bit of a show. And then we've also got an effect that runs across those lights, like so. So, the process of cloning is incredibly simple. You click on the origin group or you type the fixture numbers you want. So, if I was going to type them in, it would be in this case 601 through 604. You then go command or click on setup if you're on a desk, go to cloning. Click take selection, clear once, and then type in the fixtures we want to replicate. So 701 through 704. And we go take selection, and we see that we're cloning straight across. Now, if we're only cloning, for example, if we were cloning, we'll remove these lines. And we'll start again. If we were only going to take, let's say we'll take 601. And we go 701 through 704. Oops, I forgot to press enter. 701 through 704. Take selection. We can see that we're cloning that information to all four of those. So instead of cloning a one-to-one -one for each fixture, it's going to take exactly what that fixture does. So in my case, I have a perfect amount of fixtures. I could clone one-to-one. -one, you know, two to two, three to three, and so on. But for the demonstration of this, and for what you're mainly going to do with this, um, which is bringing in a lot of show data and presets and stuff, what we're doing here will work. So once we've got our fixtures selected, our to and our from, we click prepare, and it gives us an option. And it's asking us, what do we want to clone? Do we want to clone groups as well? So that when we select those, we select the others as well. Do we want to put them in all sequences, or do we want it only in certain sequences? Uh, or do we want presets, which presets, all worlds, all the information. And in my case, I want to clone everything, so all I have to do is click clone. It's going to ask me what I want to do with this information, and what do I want to do with the presets who are updating? Do I want to overwrite the ones that are there currently? Do a low priority merge, or just a merge? We're going to do a merge and we're going to come out of this clear and we're going to run our little show file and we'll see that we've got our fixtures and because we've cloned 601 which is in blue these start in blue so if i was to go through obviously they're following what 701 did And because they're cloning 701, they form part of the odd and even group. And they're forming only what 701 is doing. So it's doing an exact clone. If we wanted to, and we just wanted to clone 601, so if we wanted to clone them directly, so 601 through 604, take selection, 701 through 704, and we click prepare, we left all the information the same. Instead of cloning just off 701, it's going to clone each fixture. And the reason we do this is that now when we run it, ah, well, if I'd done it properly, obviously I've just cloned information in that's already in there. Uh, it's a bad demonstration. Let me just load back into our tutorial for a second. If we were to stop the show for a sec, we were to go set up, Clear our programmer, go cloning, clone 601 through 604. 
Take selection, clear once, 701 through 704. Take selection, prepare, settings are the same. We do a merge. This time when we run it, 70, oh, sorry, 701 has been cloned to 601. 702 has been cloned to 602, which means that when we run all this stuff, they mirror each other. Including the odd and even effect that runs on them. So, for example, in a real show situation, the next thing I would obviously do is I wouldn't have obviously ticked, stupidly I ticked to clone the groups, so now they're in the same group, which we don't really want. I'm going to fix that right now. We're just going to go clear 601 through 604. And we're going to overwrite that group. Now when I select the new group of fixtures and I put them in the center position, I can update there. Whoops. Their center position. I'm going to cheat for a second. I'm going to use the follow mode. Let's put them in the right spot. There we go. Update. Center position. Stage left. Oh, this helps if I stage left, the right stage left. Stage left. Update. Then we go to recalling stage right. We update the stage right position. Now when we run it, it should look correct. Lights come out to the center. One light shifts around in the wrong direction, which is the hazard of using the follow mode in MA3D, you're always best to program manually, uh, but that's okay in this example. We had our lights in, we had the rest of the things in, and then these fixtures flick back badly to do their odd and even thing. So it's just a couple of position presets. I cheated and it bit me in the butt because the, the MA chose to show the shortest path to the location, which is not always the best one. Uh, but the clone function works at least. Anyway, hope this has been helpful to you. Thank you very much for the people that emailed me, uh, one especially, and requested the video. Hopefully this was helpful.